Good morning, Proniacs. Welcome to 2018 and a new year. Well, I want to talk about what's on everybody's mind, resolutions and wishes for 2018. I was watching the New Year's Eve parties and everybody was asking the question, what's your wish for New Year's Eve? And people were, the most popular I think that I heard was world peace. And in thinking about that, you know, you have time to reflect and sit down because everybody's talking about it and they're going out to all of the concerts and things and you're watching everybody freeze in the cold in Times Square and they're saying we want world peace or I'm wishing for world peace. And if you think about it, what's the way that you can achieve your wishes? See, wishes aren't achievable because you can't affirm wishes. If you tell your subconscious mind or you try to reprogram your subconscious to say, I wish for world peace, I wish for world peace, it's a wish that it's not going to get anything done. It's just telling yourself that you want something that you possibly are doubting that you can even get or that will ever happen. What you can say, however, you can affirm that you will be the person that can create an effort towards world peace. Right? That's something that you can affirm. And that is relating to the person that you want to become, which is in the essence of what we're accomplishing this year is to become our higher selves and the person, our personal narrative to create achievement and success. So the other thing that I was talking about was resolutions and I was watching Jack Canfield on my bed yesterday and I was like, you know what? I do not have a resolution. And Jack Canfield says, do not make resolutions for New Year's. Instead, make goals. Make goals that are uh, smart goals if you've ever heard of them, but they're measurable, they're attainable, they're realistic or realizable, right? So, and, uh, and they have a timeline on it. So uh, what you can do is instead of saying, I wanna lose 30 pounds this year, I wanna work out every day, you can't gain the mo most of the time, it's hard to gain the momentum in order to continue to do that day after day unless you have a workout partner and especially if your wife or husband is your workout partner and you guys are very trusting supporting and cooperative then you can push each other usually to the gym every day but with that exception said make a goal of a distance or a race and a time in mind and that's more goal oriented than it is resolution so what I have for this year to make this possible is I'm doing the Chelan Man Half Ironman, which is a 70.3 mile race coming up in July 21st. So I'm training for that currently, but my ultimate goal, my big hairy audacious goal, if we're going by what Darren Daly or Darren Hardy teaches, is my Ironman Arizona. Now that is 140.3.6. 140.6 miles in swimming, biking, and running consecutively. So that's what I'm affirming myself to be able to do. That's what I'm visualizing on the bikes when I have my long three hour rides on the weekends that I'm on that course and I'm visualizing what it'll be like if I'm going up rolling hills or if I'm flying through the heated you know, lava fields you just visualize and attack because that's what you're connecting your emotional energy to that visualization and to that goal, which is creating so much more motivation and intention in your life towards those goals. So if you don't want to make resolutions or you haven't made resolutions or you want to give up on your resolution already, go for it. Create goals and make them timely, measurable, and attainable. And Go after it and get it in 2018, but be the person every day. Always go back to the person and relate to the one that you want to become. I'm RJ, this is not what I say or do, but the way I assist in making you feel that you are going to remember. Hopefully the longest or the shortest days are gone and the longer days are upon us. And I look forward to seeing you in more light in the mornings.